Okay, so let's talk about something called the auto ionization of water. Water has its own <clears throat> um, equilibrium expression constant, the KW, so W stands for water. This is also sometimes called the ion product constant of water, KW. Okay, <clears throat> so we learned that water is called amphoteric or amphiprotic, meaning it can act like either an acid or a base. So if we look at water, I'm gonna give it two moles of water just to make this make sense. Water will do what's called auto ionization, which means it breaks apart to the hydronium ion and the hydroxide ion all by itself. This is called auto ionization. <clears throat> and all aqueous solutions, like all of the ones that we'll be talking about, are using water as a solvent, which means all solutions have a hydrogen, hydronium part and a hydroxide part. So this is pure water and it has an acidic part, that's the hydronium, and a basic part. So in water, water is neutral, so we have equal concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide. Water is neutral. So the auto ionization, the KW ion product constant for water is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. And that equals the hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. So for every solution, the product of hydronium and hydroxide is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. This is not true for just water, this is true for all aqueous solutions. So all of the solutions that we're talking about, if you're given the hydronium ion concentration, you can solve for the hydroxide because you know the product of those two has to equal one times 10 to the negative 14th. So <clears throat> this also brings us to something called the pH scale. We know water is neutral and the pH scale goes from 14 to one, seven in the middle. And one at the bottom, which is basic. Sorry, I did this wrong. Basic is 14, acidic is one. And neutral is in the middle. So if pure water is neutral, at seven, then that means these two have to equal each other. So that means whatever these two things are multiplied together is one times 10 to the negative 14th. So if I take 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th and I take the square root of it, essentially, because I'm multiplying these two things together, I get one times 10 to the negative seventh, which means neutral water has a hydronium ion concentration of 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh, and neutral water has a hydroxide ion concentration of 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. So very small, <clears throat> but it's there. And this is what makes the pH of water seven, because remember the pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. So if the negative log of one times 10 to the negative seventh is seven. This also is gonna bring us to some other calculations where <clears throat> the sum of the pH, so remember this is pH equals the negative log of hydronium, the pOH, is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. Now there's another formula that we can use which says 14 is the sum of the pH plus the pOH. 
the pH plus the pOH will always sum up to 14, just like the hydroxide ion concentration and the hydrogen ion concentration, hydronium, will, the product will always be 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So this is gonna allow us to calculate any, any type of information um, that we could get in a problem. So if they give us pH and they ask for pOH, we could just subtract it from 14. If they give us the hydronium ion concentration, we could solve for hydroxide um, and so on. So these are the equations. Maybe I'll just write all of these out. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals hydronium ion times hydroxide ion. And then the other two that we learned was the hydronium ion concentration equals 10 to the negative pH and the hydroxide ion concentration equals 10 to the negative pOH. So all of these are really just derivations of each other. Just depending on what kind of information the problem is giving you, you could use any one of these to solve. So um, let's look at an example just using um, the KW now. So let's see. Okay, let's say the pH of blood is 7.40. What are the hydronium and the hydroxide ion concentrations? Okay, so we are given a pH of 7.40. When we're given a pH of 7.40, we can say the hydronium ion concentration equals 10 to the negative pH. That's the formula I'm going to start with. This is the one I chose. So, hydronium ion equals 10 to the negative 7.40. So let's just put that in the calculator. 10 to the negative 7.40 is 3.98 times 10 to the negative eighth. So now remember, our rule is in reverse because remember this is a log. So however many decimal places are in the log, that's how many significant figures should be in your problem, in your concentration. So this equals, it's 3.98 times 10 to the negative eighth, but with two significant figures, I can't round. So it's gonna be 4.0 times 10 to the negative eighth molar. That's the hydronium ion concentration. So now I can use the KW of water, which says, so we just said that hydronium is 4.0 times 10 to the negative eighth. So that's the first part. What's the hydronium ion concentration? The next part was, what is the hydroxide ion concentration? Well, I know 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th is the hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. So I'm gonna plug this hydronium con ion concentration in here and solve. So I'm essentially going to divide both sides by the hydronium ion concentration. And I'll be left with the hydroxide ion concentration. So I'm gonna say 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 4.0 times 10 to the negative eighth equals 
2.5 times 10 to the negative seventh, again, my answer should have two significant figures, 2.5 times 10 to the negative seventh molar. So the hydroxide ion concentration is 2.5 times 10 to the negative seventh. And you should always be making sure that your answers make sense. <clears throat> Um, and what I mean by that is, in this problem, it says the pH of blood is 7.40. So that is slightly basic. If it is slightly basic, that means your hydroxide ion concentration, which is the basic part, this needs to be a bigger number than this, which it is. 2.5 times 10 to the negative seventh is a bigger number than 4.0 times 10 to the negative eighth. The hydroxide ion concentration should be greater because this is a basic pH. If this was an acidic pH, the hydronium ion concentration should be bigger. And if it is neutral, then they should be equal. So this is the auto ionization of water. This allows us to always know what the hydronium ion concentration is if we're given hydroxide or vice versa. If we're given hydroxide, we can solve for hydronium. So based on these six equations here, we can solve any information. Uh, we can solve for pH, pOH, hydronium, or hydroxide depending on what the question is asking and what kind of information is given.